Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com and today I just wanted to make a video to say thanks for getting us to 30,000 subs. Um, I've been working on this channel for I want to say about a year and a half now. It's been a little while and uh, the channel has been quickly growing over the last year or so and uh, I'm making this video for 30,000 subs. We're already at 31, going to be coming up on 32 very, very shortly. So I just wanted to say thank you for your continued support. Um, I really wanted to make this channel where the content would be driven by the feedback from the viewers. And that's really where I think the channel has gone. Um, of course I have my own ideas to contribute, but for the most part I like to kind of ask you guys your feedback and then kind of move forward with the style of videos that you like to see. Now of course I incorporate the unboxings and on feet videos, that's kind of been a staple of this channel, but there's lots of new stuff that's been incorporated that you guys seem to be enjoying and I really couldn't have done without your continued support. So for those of you guys that comment and like the videos and just watch the videos every day, I really do appreciate it. A lot of work goes into putting out seven videos a week. Uh, more work than you might anticipate. So I really do appreciate it that you guys enjoy the videos and just support them with your likes and your comments. Um, so for a 30,000 sub celebration, I wanted to kind of make a video that you guys have been asking for for a long time now, and that is a room tour. This room you see I'm sitting in all the time in my videos. I'm gonna show you what goes on in here, what kind of stuff is in here, and uh, just give you a little tour. So um, once again, guys, just thanks for 30,000 subs. And hopefully we'll get another 30,000 after this. Um, so let's get on with the room tour. All right, to start off the room tour, here is a look at my front door. When you walk in, the first thing you'll notice to the right is a few tripods leaning against the wall, a light stand, and an empty desk. Now this empty desk is where I do the filming for my unboxing and comparison videos. Right here is the stool that I sit in. I know it's very, very exciting. And then above the desk, you're going to find a light hanging from the ceiling, just to allow for the best possible lighting. Normally I use more lights when I'm filming, but just for the sake of the video, because they do take up so much space, I kind of took them out of the room. Underneath the table, you're going to find a garbage can. Um, and then to the left of the desk, you're going to find my Xbox 360. A lot of you guys ask me about video games and whether or not I play FIFA. In all honesty, I don't even own the latest FIFA game. I find it very, very frustrating. And I just don't have too much time to play Xbox in general or just video games. Um, so when there is a game that comes out that I really want to play, I'll pick it up and play it. But for the most part, I don't play Xbox more than once or twice a month. You can see this is it's sitting on my junk drawer. It's got all kinds of stickers on there um, just because. Um, and this is kind of my junk drawer where I keep all kinds of miscellaneous electronic stuff that you need to keep, but you don't necessarily need right away. So you kind of jam it all in one drawer with no organization whatsoever. That's what you're going to find in these three drawers right there. To the left of these three drawers, you're going to find my workstation. This is the computer where I do the majority of the typing for my website, soccerreviewsforyou.com. So when I write reviews and stuff, normally it happens right here computer, keyboard, and mouse, as you can see. Whereas the rest of the website stuff happens at another computer. Not really gonna show you guys, there's nothing too special there. Um, to the left, you're going to find another monitor where um, that's kind of plugged into my Xbox so I'm playing video games. It happens right there. There is my chair that I sit in. If you wanna be kind of really technical, this is the chair that I use in all of my outro videos. Um, I know, again, another very exciting fact right there that you probably didn't know. And then above my little workstation, I just had a lot of empty wall space. So I decided to install a shelf there just so I can put some extra shoes. These are all casual shoes. None of them are soccer, just some Jordans and Nikes and stuff like that. Just so I thought I'd utilize this kind of extra bare wall um, above my desk. Um, you can see right here, this is my bed. Again, nothing too special. And then the part that most of you guys are probably interested in, it's that top shelf above me, closer to the ceiling. You guys see it in the background of all of my outros. And it displays quite a few different shoe boxes. So this is basically all of the current model shoes from all the major brands that I have displayed above me. I try to keep them in my room as close as possible. So when I do need to make a comparison video or something like that, I don't really have to go digging for it. Um, all the other shoes that I have, I kind of keep in a storage room in the back. Um, not in the back, kind of. it's just another room in my house basically. Um, I don't try to keep too much, I try to get rid of stuff that I don't really need, donate to people who really do need them. Um, but for the most part, anything that's current, you're going to find on this top shelf. So just give you guys a quick overview of what you're going to find on this top shelf. To the right, you're going to find some Pantafolodoro, Asics, Warrior, Mizuno, a little bit of Diodora, a little bit of Munich, some Under Armour, some Umbro, and then of course Puma, Adidas, and Nike. There's where you're going to find the most boxes, just because they are the most popular right now, and they do have so many lines. Um, so like I said, this is majority just current stuff that is right now available to buy that I just keep close to me. So when I do need to make a comparison video, I have it ready to go and I don't have to go digging for it. 
Below that, this is the other thing you normally see in the background, is this kind of little shelf I have going here. And this is where I keep all the shoes that I am currently wearing or currently in the process of testing on um, just so I don't have to put it in the boxes and take it out all the time. And just so it's easier for me to remember what I have to test and what I don't have to test because there are so many shoes out right now. Um, you can see it does seem a little bit cluttered. I'm working on keeping up. Um, it's just a lot of work, guys, um, to do a video every day on the channel and then write all these reviews. Um, it's a lot to do for one person. So I'm working on catching up and hopefully I'll have most of these shoes reviewed in the next couple of weeks or so. Um, on the bottom shelf, you're going to find some trainers. This is kind of what I wear every day. Um, either casually or just for training. I think I have a pair of goalkeeper gloves there that I take out every once in a while to screw around when I'm going right to the park with my buddies and I want to play in the net. Um, I have a select ball right there, um, some Jordan shoes right there under my nightstand. Um, on the bottom of my nightstand you can see my camera that I take all the pictures with for the website. Um, for those of you guys that ask, I think it's like a Canon T3i. Um, and then of course on the top I have that same um, scale I use in all of my videos and then an iPad and a Nike Fuel Band. A lot of you guys also ask about the turf in my room. Do I have turf floors? No, I don't. It's basically this little roll here. It looks like a carpet. I'll pull it out for you guys so you can see exactly what it is. And I just keep it at the side of my bed. That's why I leave this part of the floor completely empty. So when I am filming a video, I can kind of just roll it out. And then I have like a nice little piece of turf to kind of film on. It's not something you can play. It's not stuck to the ground. And it's not designed. It's not the same type of turf you're going to use or find on a turf soccer field. Um, so it's just there pretty much for display purposes. It looks pretty good and that's what I use in my videos Just so you guys know to the left of this stand You're gonna find some other boxes that I'm currently in the process of filming um, There's just a lot of product out right now And I'm trying to get out as much as possible and then of course these are all the jerseys that you guys see in my videos It is a lot of jerseys um, And I just kind of keep them right there just because I don't want to put them in my closet And it's kind of a cool display piece in my opinion. Um, this is my main closet This is where I keep Kind of my regular clothes, if you will, like pants and t-shirts and stuff like that. Nothing too crazy, so I'm not even going to show you guys that. It's kind of a mess. My room is normally a mess. Um, it just doesn't happen to be a mess today because I am making this video. And then right here, I had an extra piece, like kind of an empty space in my room. So I had this shelf, so I decided to put it up and kind of just display some of my sneakers. I wouldn't say that I'm a collector in any way, especially not soccer shoes. The only reason why I have so many soccer shoes is because I am reviewing the product. I don't think there's too many shoes. I do have kind of a little mini collection of shoes that I really haven't worn and uh, I just wanted to keep. But for the most part, I'm not really collecting soccer shoes. Whereas sneakers, I don't want to say I'm a collector either, but I do have an interest in them and I do purchase a fair amount of them. This is kind of what I do on my second channel for those of you guys that don't know. Uh, my second channel is Woo Your Josh 2. I'll leave an annotation on screen if you want to check that out. So if you're at all into casual shoes, basketball shoes at all, um, go ahead and check out that second channel. You may enjoy what you see. Um, as far as what I have hanging right here, these are my Nike Soccer Immersion VIP Passes. Um, this past summer I had the opportunity to go to Nike headquarters in Portland, Oregon for the unveil of the Nike CTR360 Maestri 3. Really cool, I had a really great time there. Um, it's such an amazing facility and I kind of just keep those passes there just to remember that um, trip that I really did enjoy. Behind there you're going to find a hockey stick. I believe this is an Easton Stealth S17. I think it's a little bit older now. Um, I haven't played hockey for about two years now. I really did enjoy playing hockey and I want to get back into it. Um, so I just kind of keep that in my room. Just every once in a while I take out the hockey stick and do a little bit of stick handling just because it's fun for me. Um, but that's pretty much it as far as my room tour, guys. That kind of completes the thing. I'll give you a very quick 360 here. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. You guys have asked for this. Um, again, I appreciate you guys for your support. Thanks for 30k subs. Let's keep going. If you guys did enjoy today's video, if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys want to follow me on any of the latest social media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can find links to all of those down below in the description. Now other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.